Hey what's up guys my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about Google Ads audience segments. I'm going to be showing you what exactly Google Ads audience segments are, how to create Google Ads audience segment and how you can make use of it in your campaign. So like, let's get straight into things. Alright so the first thing is when you log into Google Ads manager you can click on tools and settings and then click on audience manager. Now this is where you will create a new segment. A segment is basically um, you know a subset of your total audience and they have certain attributes. Now in order to create your own audience segment you can click on custom segment and then click on this plus. Now this is where you will be actually defining who exactly will be in this segment. Now there are two ways in which you can create an audience segment. The first one is the default one which Google says is people with any of these interest or purchase intention. Now if you think about it basically what Google is saying is that your ads will reach people with those interest or purchase intentions based on your campaign setting. Now in this case it's saying that enter keywords describing your ideal customers interest or products and services that they are actively researching to buy. Um, this is great in terms of when you are trying to promote a product and you want to reach an audience where your audience is actively researching for it. You can kind of say that this is almost like mimicking an in-market audience. So I'm just going to take an example of HubSpot CRM over here. Um, everyone knows, you know, the um, HubSpot, uh, you know, marketing automation platform. And let's say, you know, uh, I work for HubSpot and, you know, I'm trying to run Google ads for HubSpot. What I would do is I would try to figure out all the different keywords that um, that is related to my product. Now, in this case, I will say uh, marketing automation software. Um, oh, sorry, uh, this is a segment name. So basically what we are saying is the name of the segment is um, interest, um, interest slash purchase, um, keyword based, and I will say um, for the product uh, because we are trying to promote a product, right? So I'm going to say product. And over here, I'm going to add the interest or purchase intention. So in this case, people need to be interested in um, CRM software, um, CRM tools. If you just type CRM, right, um, it, Google will automatically give you some suggestions. So in this case, you know, sales CRM software, CRM for small business, free CRM. Um, and as you can see, it's giving you more recommendation. Now, this is great and you can keep on adding and you can define your audience um, until you know you know that you know you have you have enough data that's one way of building your audience and on the right side you will see like your weekly impressions and all the other factors um, so that's fine when you want to reach an audience uh, who's uh, in market or who's searching for this the other thing is uh, you can even select people who searched for any of these terms on Google. Now, I would say this is even more accurate because your ads will reach people who search for those and similar terms only on campaigns running on Google properties. So this is actually even better because you are ensuring that your target audience is actually searching for these keywords on Google. Um, the first option was people who have shown interest in those type of topics. The second option is people who search for any of these terms on Google. And I think the second one has higher intent and I would suggest you know using the second option. Now, both of them requires keyword research and that's where you know, I would suggest you know using a tool like SEMrush uh, and you know keyword overview. And what I would say is um, I'm going to say CRM um, software, you know, and like, let's, let's start with the base keyword or seed keyword. And then what I, we will do is view all keywords 
and then you have you know management so crm uh, management software best crm management software like trying to distill it down uh, to have even more you know intent over here you can even you know have additional options over here like you know download which is um, if let's say you are offering free trial right if your campaign is about free trial then let's figure out people who are searching for free CRM software download. You know, that's again an, an example. If you are an open source provider, then you can use open or source. Um, Dynamic service integration. Let's say if you're um, adding a new feature about a product and if your new feature is about a new integration for your CRM software, then these are the keywords that you will use to build the audience. So I'm just giving you like how you can think about those keywords, right? The other thing I would say is you can even expand upon the keywords that you have identified by click on, clicking on people who browse, um, you know, websites similar to. Now, in this case, um, you know, I'm just going to pick HubSpot's domain and I'm going to say people who visit this website. But the other way to find out is, um, you know, HubSpot alternatives. And then I'm going to get a list of hubs, you know, CRM software. So Salesforce, um, active campaign. So let's just active campaign.com salesforce.com. And as you know, like you can add a bunch of these, um, domain URLs. Now, again, if you have access to a tool like SEMrush, what it will do is I'm going to hubspot.com it enter. And I will actually get, um, you know, a competitive positioning positioning map. Now, some of these domains are not accurate, but you know, you can see like if I click on main competitors, I mean, these are all like uh, trying to aim for similar keywords. So you can choose any of these URLs um, as those competitors, and you can simply add over here. That's again another way of trying to, um, you know, reach out to people who are interested in your competitors and, and then run Google ads. Now, one thing to note is that when you add keywords and then when you also add these domains, it's an or condition, OR, it's not an and condition. So your audience might be searching for these keywords or they might be visiting any of these websites. So it's not like you are adding layers, you are basically expanding. So that's some, something to keep in mind. You also have an option to, um, you know, add apps. So um, let's see, CRM apps, iOS. Um, so looks like there's Zoho CRM. Zoho. Yeah, look at this. There's a bunch, bunch of uh, uh, Zoho CRM. So as you can see, um, you can even target people who are interested or who use similar apps like, you know, this. So that's again a fantastic way to build your audience. Now let's say once you're done, you know, creating an audience, you can hit save and it will be saved over here, which under custom segments. And um, you can use that audience in, um, you know, your campaign. In signal, so under this signal, this is where you will add your saved audience. Uh, and basically you can um, reach your newly created audience um, from this section. So that's pretty much it guys in terms of how to create an audience segment and then how you can use it in your Google Ads campaign. Let me know if you have any questions, make sure to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.